Hi, I'm Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer, here with your quick pitch of legal wellness. By now you've probably heard that the New York Yankees' Aaron Judge just hit his 60th home run of the season. The blast mashed Babe Ruth for second place on the all-time Yankees' single season home run list and is only one behind Roger Maris, who belted 61 dingers back in 1961 and still holds the American League single season record. Michael Kessler, a 20-year-old college baseball player sitting in the bleachers at Yankee Stadium, he came away with the home run ball. Not this one. But he decided to give it back to the slugger in exchange for some signed baseballs and a signed bat and a photo with the outfielder. And this is for a baseball that's already estimated to have a value of almost $250,000. But did he have to give up the baseball? I mean, who owns a home run ball? In a pretty dense Cardozo Law Review article, the author, a professor, explains that a baseball belongs to Major League Baseball until it's abandoned into the stands, either because it's hit there or a player throws it there. Seems simple enough, right? Well, how about a few years ago when then Pittsburgh Pirates infielder Pedro Alvarez, he hit a home run at Pittsburgh's PNC Park that landed in a boat docked just outside the stadium in the Allegheny River. A man who appeared to be passing by when the ball landed, he climbed in the boat and he simply took it. But the guy was trespassing. So does that mean it's not his ball? I mean, after all, nabbing it involved an intervening criminal act. More significantly, how about when Barry Bonds hit his 73rd home run back in 2001? A guy named Alex Popov first snagged the ball. He had it in his glove for just a second. Of course, the crowd immediately swarmed him, and when the melee ended, a guy named Patrick Hayashi wound up with the ball. Considering the ball's historic nature, it ended up selling for almost half a million dollars, by the way. What do you think happened next? Well, Popov took Hayashi to court. He sued him for what's called conversion and trespass to chattels. His claim was basically, hey man, you stole my baseball. Well, the court ended up splitting the baby, dividing the ball, or its proceeds at least, between the two men. So much for possession being nine-tenths of the law. So what does all this mean as it concerns Mr. Kessler? Do you think he did the legal thing? Do you think he did the right thing? By giving back the baseball, did he touch them all or did he get caught looking? Well, that's your call. If you'd like to take another swing at legal wellness, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit me at yourlovablelawyer.com. Until next time, I'm Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer.